deep into a bowl of clammy goodness next. CapeCast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for June 12th. We meet the championship chowder team at the Skipper Restaurant in South Yarmouth in the second half of the show. But first, let's take a look at news. In the Shack Shock Department, a guardhouse at the entrance of exclusive Great Island in West Yarmouth was knocked off its foundation during the overnight hours, likely by a hit-and-run driver. Great Island is a private enclave home to well-heeled types like convenience store mogul Christy Myhouse. In the Need for Speed Department, state officials officially opened a new satellite state police crime lab in Lakeville yesterday that will process evidence from southeastern Massachusetts, including the Cape and Islands. Officials hope the lab will speed up the CSI process. Hey folks, the Skipper Restaurant in South Yarmouth recently won the 27th annual Great Chowder Cook-Off in Newport, Rhode Island, and yesterday they showed us how to make some of the best chowder in the world. We are standing in one of the halls of fame of chowder. The Skipper Restaurant in South Yarmouth. Alan, you own this place. It seems to me you guys have been making waves in the chowder world. What just happened? We were very fortunate on Saturday to win the uh, World Championship of Chowder, the Newport Chowder Festival. And uh, it goes right along. We, were, we had won the Cape Cod. We had won the Boston and the uh, creme de la creme, the Newport Chowder Festival. So we're very excited. And what we're going to show you today is the basis of making a really good chowder. And it really uh, starts off with some basic ingredients and it's, it's like keep it simple stupid. It's basically we have here we have some onion, some celery, some uh, potato, some butter, some seasoning and of course some clams. What Kayo's doing here basically is sweating down the onions and the celery, combining all those flavours with the butter and uh, getting it to soften up. And um, it's a very traditional way of making clam chowder here in Cape Cod. Okay, now we have our celery and our onion and our butter all sauteing together. And now Chef Kai is going to add our seasonings. And we use the seasonings, which we hit bay leaf. Some people use thyme, salt, pepper, garlic pepper. You know, basically a lot of the seasonings that you'll have in your own kitchen. And after we, uh, at the seasoning, what we want to do is we're adding some water in here. It's almost like a, making a stock. After those ingredients have to come together, we're adding our potatoes. We happen to dice our potatoes and it's always not a bad idea to dice them in a uniform size so that they do cook together and they uh, cook at the same time. So um, you add your potato and then we have our fresh clams. Now you don't add the clams until the potatoes are soft because our clams cook very quickly. And as you can see the, the, the clams also uh, adds a lot of flavor to our stock and which is the essence of uh, our clam chowder. We tend to put a lot of clams in our chowder and we think we should rename a clams chowder because we, uh, we tend to uh, find that's one of our secrets. We use plenty of clams I can tell you that. After all those ingredients have come together, you would add your uh, heavy cream or light cream, whichever is to your fancy, and this really is your, your basic uh, ingredient. We used uh, probably, uh, cream. probably a quart and a half of light cream. A, go a good chowder um, with all these basic ingredients should take you about half an hour from, uh, uh, as the chef says, yeah. maybe an hour, depending on how much you're making. Basically what we have here is the air finish component and uh, you know it's after being cooking there for a while and as you can see it's rich, it's creamy, it's uh, got plenty of clams, it's got the right seasoning, it's, got, it's not too uh, thick and it's not too thin which is what we like in a chowder. Well life is good once again here on Cape Cast. We're here on the outdoor deck on the second floor of the Skipper restaurant looking over Nantucket Sound and I have just been handed a bowl of world champion chowder. Let's see what happens. Oh, creamy. Oh, a smooth, clammy, soft, delicious, melting in my mouth, buttery trip into Nirvana. Now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast back by waspy nest building video from under my porch roof. For tonight, clear with a low around 53, and for Friday, sunny with a high near 74. 
Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been CapeCast for June 12th. Till next time. We're number one and see ya! <laughs>